In this video, I will show you how to configure Sam Broadcaster Cloud to stream to your Live 365 account. In order to stream to a Shoutcast, Icecast or Live 365 server, you first need to make sure that your package includes external relays. The bronze, silver and gold packages have different settings. The bronze package doesn't allow for external streaming. The silver package allows you to stream to up to two external servers. And the gold package allows you to stream up to four external relays. You can always purchase additional external relays if needed. External relays are configured from your user zone. So if you go to userzone.spatial.com, you can go ahead and log in with your credentials. And then you can go to the stations tab. And over here, I can choose the station which I want to manage. I want to manage this Sam Cloud Hit station. And I'm going to jump to this Manage Relays tab. Here you can see that spatial streaming is the cloud platform streaming included with every package. And if I wish, I can actually change both the bitrate and format or even choose MP3 over AC if I wanted to. And this will affect your default included streaming with your Sam Broadcaster Cloud package. Note that I can go to the Manage Service and add additional cloud platform streaming encoders for different formats. So I could be streaming in MP3 and AAC or multiple MP3 and multiple AAC streams at the same time to the cloud platform. So if you need additional formats or bit rates, you don't have to use an external relay. You can still do that on the cloud platform. But I'm not going to go into that detail right now. I want to show you how to set up external streaming. To set up your Live365 account, we first need to log into Live365 and configure your broadcast to allow for live streaming to it. I'm assuming you already have a Live365 broadcasting account, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump to the Broadcast tab and go ahead and log in. And now I'm going to be redirected to the Broadcast Admin area. What I want to do here is scroll down a little bit and find the mode. You can see the mode is in basic broadcast. And I'm going to change that. We want to make sure that the mode is live broadcast. So I'm going to change it to live broadcast and go ahead and save. The next step is to go to my profile and scroll down to here where it says choose your format. This is incredibly important. You have to match exactly the bitrate that's specified in this setting. So make a note and write this down. So they want my account is on 128 kilobits per second stereo, best audio quality. So remember that and write that down. Now that we've configured everything we needed to in the Live 365 system, we can jump back to our user zone and go ahead and add our Live 365 relay by clicking on Add Relay button, then choosing Live 365 over here. And now I can type in my credentials. And it's important here that I need to verify that my details are correct. Again, let me just show you if I've entered the wrong details. It's going to show you that authentication fails. So it's a quick way for you to verify that your settings are correct. And it returns a host and port number on which the SAM cloud system will connect. And the other important thing, obviously, to remember is that the format matches. Now, our system will actually automatically detect the correct format and apply that to the stream. Okay, so I clicked apply and my Live365 relay is now configured to stream in MP3 at 128 kilobits per second, 44 kilohertz stereo. 
If I go ahead and look at my Live C5 account, after a few minutes the station will uh, restart, the, the SAM cloud station will restart and connect to my Live C5 station. So I should be able to see, let me just go back to my broadcast status over here, and you can see that it's now on air and Jason Shaw Lazy Day is playing. So let's just go ahead and see if I log in my, to my cloud station over here. And you can see Jason Shaw Lazy Day did play, but it seems like we just switched to a new song, John Salsa Rulo. So let's go ahead and go back to Live Physics 5. Uh, just refresh the playlist here and you can see the new track is playing. So this confirms that we're streaming to the Live Physics 5 system and it's also picking up the track metadata correctly. It's of course just as easy to edit your Live Physics 5 details. So just to show that I'm going to go ahead and change my broadcasting format here to 56 kilobits per second. I'm going to save that. Okay, let me just do this because uh, I actually already did this. So it's now 32 kilobits per second. And now I'm going to go ahead, jump back here and edit my live PC5 details. You can see it's still set at 128 kilobits per second. I'm going to go ahead and say grab the new station information which changes it to 32 kilobits per second. So once you make changes on the live 365 side, you may need to come back here and get the latest station information and then submit to apply those changes. And then finally, if you want to re remove your live 365 relay, just click the remove button and this will remove the relay. On a final note, uh, it's worth mentioning that the system will also grab the statistical information from your live 365 account. So if there's listeners connected to your stream, those will show up in this graph over here and also should show up in the song history down below as well. The listener account will show up here. As you can see, it's really simple to configure your SAM Broadcaster Cloud account to stream to Live 365. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next video.